up, y'all? It's your boy Juggle Nine Seventy back here, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger Definitive Edition. And now we have returned, so let's go take care of everything in the Mountain of Zeal, or well, the Kingdom of Zeal, if you will, because we got business to take care of. We got to challenge the Queen. Alrighty, off we go, right to Kajar. Woo! To Kajar we go, right back to the Magic Kingdom. And Hasa. Let's see. Make sure that we got everything that we need here. Nothing here. Alright, you know, we don't need to go here. Actually, we need to go to Kajar, not in, uh, in Hasa. Let's keep going this way. Ah, <sighs> good Lord Almighty. Now, we must also, you know, get ourselves well equipped, too. Now the Mountain of Woe is no longer here, we gotta worry about getting equipment in uh, Kajar. Buy it from that blue new that's actually selling too. Now we also have to let them know that this it's not Shala's pendant that we have. All right, let's see. City of Kajar. It's weird how they call the city though. How everything's inside. Then again though, the future is kind of like that in uh, domes, if you will. That pendant you carry is that Shala's pendant? No, it is not. Welcome. Jeez, everything's so expensive. Oh, holy shit, dude. I completely forgot to do a few things. You know what? Sell a little bit of this. Hang on. I can afford to get rid of a few ethers. Uh, get rid of a few of these. Let's see. Platinum helmets, platinum vests. Okay, he's got one equipped. No, two platinum helmets will work too. Smiter's blade. Ugh. Come again. Well, you know what? We'll be okay with what we don't need. Got a platinum helmet. Radiant blade. Radiant plate. You know what? She's not going to need that. Though, I do think that Luke is probably going to be the one we need to be have with us right now. Party. Because, when we go to the Ocean Palace, everything over there is going to be elemental. Everything's going to be elemental. Now, if I'm not correct... Scarf. Oh yeah, by the way, I also took the time to get a few things as well previous episode. There we go. Now, back to the Queen's uh, Palace. Now that we got that taken care of, my favorite part of the game comes right here. How do we get to the Ocean Palace? Well, simple. Ba, 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 ba. Steel Palace, here we come. Center of the universe. Nah. Here, let's scratch his back. Again. I don't get what the new scratching point is, but whatever it is, it did absolute zilch. Hang on. This leads to the Mad Machine's chamber. Now, the Mad Machine has been moved. Transported to the Ocean Palace to begin harvesting raw new energy Lavos. New energy of Lavos. That's probably not the best thing you should have, dude. But... There is one person we can take care of. What lies beyond? I'll tell you what lies beyond. I will tell you what lies beyond. It is Dalton. Queen and Lady Shala have both descended to the Ocean Palace. In a short time, we Enlightenments will finally attain immortality. 
I mean, I don't want to live forever either. I just want to live a long life too. <clears throat> Why is that prophet allowed inside while I'm stuck guarding a place like this? Ah, oh, you came. I've decided to leave you alone before. Hoping you might make that prophet show his true colors. But I've no, I have no use for you no more. Alright, come on, Dalton. Show me what you got. Now, Dalton uses a lot of magic, too. If you hit him physically, he uses that iron orb. Lowers your uh, HP by a half. To everyone you do it to. Sadly, you know, the golem is the same way, too. And when we get to the Ocean Palace, though, we gotta fight two of them. Yeah, he's just gonna keep doing this for a little while. Come on, Luca. What do you got? No, thank you. You're not gonna call me into that. Peel it up a little bit. I'm gonna wait for him to. And then there's that. Okay. Yeah, he just loves doing that. Fire Sword 2. Another great fire attack. <sighs> he means that, too. Mind bomb. No, I can't be beaten now. Not with eternal life, but just within my grasp. Mm hmm. In we go. And to the Ocean Palace we go. I love the Ocean Palace a lot, though, because I love the environment. Just everything that comes along with it. The music, especially. Matter of fact, I'll turn up the music a little bit. Give me a sec. There we go. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm not used to the PC version <laughs> doing that all the time. I don't like the fact that they got rid of the sound effects, though. Oh, the Ocean Palace. I love this dungeon. It's my favorite dungeon of all time because I love just the feeling of uneasiness. What, what's the, Just literally what, what's ahead, too. You don't know what's going to be expected. Mm, I feel a dark energy in this place. Something frightening stirs. Yes, it does. Shala, raise the output of the man machine to its met to its limit. I'm for calling it the mammoth machine, honestly. Shala, you dare disobey me? Very well, mother. Oh, what splendor. Behold the incredible power of Lavos. Ugh. Yeah, even the prophet's a little bit scared, too. Here we go. God, I love this dungeon. And the monsters here, too. They're all elemental monsters. These little scouts right here, these are fire elemental. You can only kill them with this, with fire as well. So, whatever, whatever color they are... It's just, it's very much, you know, like uh, how Chrono Cross does the uh, innate colors, too. Some of them have the same weaknesses. If you hit them with the wrong innate color, then they hit you back. And these monsters hit hard, too. And there's a lot of great spoils here, too. Also, there's also magicians here, too. Lightning. And the thing I also like about the magicians are... They themselves, you know, are unique in their own in their own candy way, so they use all the elemental magic. But they have, they don't have any particular weaknesses, as you'll see. Ooh! A rune blade. Even better. You know what? Either a magic scarf will probably do this better or You know what? A magic scarf is what you need. Mega Blaster, Adam Helmet, Guardian Bangle, and another Magic Scar. Alright, let's keep going. Now, we've got to uh, hit a couple of switches here. First, 
Make our way through here. Yep. I just love how well this how well put together this uh Ooh! Aeonium suits. Give that to Luca. I just love how well how well uh, put together this uh, entire dungeon is. Hang on. I need to collect all these spoils here. Okay, oh! There's these magicians. Lightning. A zealot mage, as they're called. And I think they're called the same thing on the uh, DS version as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and like the uh, little rubbles of the amount of will. These will try to lock your guys individually. Let's see. What do we got here? Aha! Yeah, it's very important to have all elements here. Really? Really? He just muted me. There we go. <laughs> right to right to water. Nope. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see, water two it is. Work on him. You know, also, one thing I also liked about this remaster is the little subtleties that they've really uh, updated, too. Ooh, and the Empyrean Blade. Funny. Turns out that the Swallow was the right uh, weapon to do. Now, there's another one here. Oh! Hang on. Aha! Uh -huh. I forgot about that. I forgot about the little... Okay, hold on. Let's take care of these guys real quick. One is the weaker of the two. The other one is the uh, <laughs> the ghoul, if you will. Protected by ghoul shield. The weaker one has got the shield. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> take him out. Booyah. Booyah. Level up. Okay, that's one switch down. Now for the other switch. Don't need to be here yet, but while we're at it. Mm, not here. You go up this way. There we are. Take out this seal real quick, and these are all fire elemental. Easy as fire. Easiest pie this way. Alrighty. Hang on. Someone else need to check. Oh! Getting close. Getting. Ooh. Still need some time. Yeah, still needs a lot there too. Aeonian helmets? I'm just gonna call it the Aeon helmet. Because that's what it's originally called. Aha! Yep. That's one thing I've also liked about the Ocean Palace. That particular spot always switches up on you. Just when you think you're going to go back, though, there's always a little bit of a trap. Plus, you know, these guys are easy to beat, though, so I wouldn't necessarily call it a trap. Not yet. Which is done. Oh! Damn it! Wrong way. Alright. These guys down. 
Yeah, I keep forgetting that that also switches off as well. Keep forgetting that. Okay, that's already been hit. Alright. Nope. And down here. Kaiser Arm. Okay. You know what? TV season needs, needs us more than we do. See, I can skip this. You know what? Actually, I don't want to skip this fight because plenty of spoils to go here. Yep. So I might as well. Eh, fuck it while we're at it. I don't care. I'll just hit everybody with something. I'll take the damage as it goes. It'll be a counter attack. Basic counters with non water magic. Sorry about that. My phone went off. Alrighty. Flow Magician down. Can never go without too much experience points because we need to be at our best for this. Might as well do it. Just uh, I'll just cleave him. Fire her and fire this thing. Hang on, folks. All right, sorry about that. You know, I was hoping to actually make this episode more uncut, but. You know, just things happen. You gotta, you gotta take care of business real quick. Small little errand. Alrighty. No spoil ever comes easily. Leave you. Water you up. Fire you up. Then I need a little bit of H two O too. I mean, it is a, a Texas spring or summer if you want to call it. Back to the Ocean Palace. Surrounded, a place surrounded by nothing but deep, salty H2O. A Sonic bow. Yeah, Nadi's gonna need this. She'll be okay with this. Ah, another trio right here. Of course. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Take these guys out. Fire you up. Ah, the Crimson Ring. You know what's really funny about that those sap moves, though? I've never really noticed uh, a loss of HP during the process, too, like whenever they do that. Because I know plenty of enemies that do that, but I don't ever really notice any kind of loss of uh, health. These bad boys. Woo! Shockwave. Now, let us return back. Alrighty. Turn back to this side, and boom, we have an entrance. Uh oh. Oh, then there's these guys. These guys with the sticks. They get paired up with a few other guys. Uh, I forget what they're called, but they do a, a, a tornado attack on you. Get him in a frenzy. Get him in a frenzy. <laughs> I call it the bond frenzy if you want to call it that. How about that, eh? We're going nautical, baby, but I forgive you. Take these little scouts out. Ah, got to have H2O. And I got to tell you right now, if there was ever any time, you know, for Chrono Trigger to have an alternate universe, I would love to see another alter an alternative to the uh, Ocean Palace if the ever if something ever happened. I did get a chance to, uh, before uh, Square Enix, uh, what was it? They uh, put a cease and desist on them. Uh, when they put a cease and desist on them, it was uh, for Crimson Echoes. These uh, guys made a uh, a really awesome uh, ROM hack, sort of like a sequel, if you will, that they decided to make uh, for uh, Chrono Trigger. 
Crimson Echoes. It was really interesting. If anybody can ever find the ROM for that. You know, and if I can, I'll try to find one. Lightning Rod, Sword Stream. Yeah, because these guys will come together and they'll... <laughs> they will counter over and over again with it. Yep. This is what I was talking about, this Tornado combo. And since there's two of them, they'll do it over and over again. There we go. Dish is not so much. A monk. Oh yeah, these are monks. I remember the original game, they were called Thrashers and Nashers. Alrighty. There they go again. Yeah, you gotta kill these guys quick. That's the only bad part, you gotta kill them quick. You can actually get by by not attacking those guys. But in this case, though, I think the best thing we need to do is actually try to fight them all. And we can come together. Get these guys on a little area bomb, too. There they go again with that counter. A little pick, too. <laughs> Get out of here. Nice to shock you. Thankfully, there's only one left over. There we go. Hang on. There is a few more left. You know what? We won't bother with them. Ah. And there goes their other halves, too. Wonderful. I think in this case, these guys will double counter. This is the one I've been telling you. The uh, double counter I've been telling you all down. So let's take them out in groups. There we go. Alrighty. A few more down. Yeah, they're getting pretty, uh, they're getting pretty confident, that's all I can say. And, uh, oh! <laughs> Looks like a red specchio there. See, I think I wish... I wish I would have, uh... Oh, you know what? Even better. Do our first triple technique. How about that? That move is so underrated. It really is. But when you do it with Marley, though, it's called Delta Force. Delta Force! Yeah, wrong movie. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger. You have the Ocean Palace on Chrono Trigger. Yes! And we have Luminaire. Dreamstone has been used throughout the ages. The Mammoth Machine and that pendant were made from it. There was also that knife. We are the embodiment of Melchior's hope, sealed within the knife. In other words, like the Masa Moon. It, that's Masa right there. Hurry, if you, if you want to, if you mean to confront the Queen, hope rests in your hands. Mm hmm It's getting intense here. Ah, I can feel it. The pulse of eternal life. <laughs> what what is this dark energy? <sighs> it's Lavos. Very much too powerful and too evil. The man machine, your majesty, it's too dangerous to continue. Mother! Don't stop, Shala. We've only a little longer to go. 
Immortality will be ours. Zeal will have an eternity glory an eternal glory it deserves. So long have I waited. Ah oh, man. Nobody ever really, you know, enjoys uh, eternal life. Oh, look at this. Here we go. You know what? Ow! Fuck off, dude, that hurt. Dude, don't, don't do that, don't do that, man, come on. You know, there's good ideas and there's bad ideas. A good idea? <laughs> Playing catch with the grandfather. Bad idea? The bad idea is playing catch with your grandfather. Then again, though, tossing old people around, that'd be hilarious to watch. <laughs> Just shelter it up. Need to make a full recovery. And we also need to save, too. Because what lies beyond... Oh, oh lo Yep. Lavos does beckon. And the thing that I love about this, on the on this re-release, uh, this re -release, is the fact that they kept the chapter name Lavos Beckons, too. Alrighty. Fighting two. Yeah, I know. I'm going to be hit with everything. I get it. I get it. Be hit with two water twos. I just wish they would have kept the uh, sound effects a little bit more normal than the Super Nintendo version. Because I'll tell you right now, that's very, not very much as an update. Ugh. Asshole. Shit's getting real. They did tighten up the graphics a little bit, though. And just little, just little tidbits, but that's one thing I've really enjoyed about this. All right, sorry about that. I didn't know they were gonna respawn like that, so we might as well keep going because coming up we got a lot of dangers ahead. We're gonna play, run a little gauntlet here down this elevator. This little little bit elevator. There we go. Ugh. Yeah, they start throwing the uh, whole kitchen sink this way. So we might as well start throwing it right back at him. Mm-hmm. Luminaire. There we go. Take those monks out. Take out Ghoul too. Thankfully on this side though, you get plenty of experience points going up here. And if I'm not correct, I think uh, if you go up, you can actually do this all over again. And if you're gonna try to grind like this, do yourself a favor. Go in with plenty of uh, plenty of ethers too, plenty of shelters, whatever you need, whatever you have you. There we go. There we go. Yes. And there's more of these. Okay, you know what? We're gonna have to do this one by one. Water. Fire. Yeah, with these little scouts, though, man, you gotta be so meticulous with them, though, because they always counter with the uh, magic. Man, don't ever underestimate it. They hit hard. That's gonna matter. They'll be dead. Crimson Raid. Alrighty. For the. Yep. That gauntlet is done. Okay, they added that sound effect to it. Alrighty, then we got another bridge to make. Ah, ah I can't. Uh, see, I could uh, on the SNES version. You should be able to. I used to be able to go right behind him and then hit the switch and get out if you uh, did if you did it quick enough. I mean, that doesn't seem to be the case this in this in this particular point. But 
I will say this. The one thing that they did do right, though, was the respawn of other enemies like that. Just like how I just witnessed on the, uh, before going on to the elevator. I believe there'll be another one just like this as well. Let's see if I can do it. Nope, can't. Ah, I'm gonna try it again. Nope. <laughs> they they bugged that. Well, they bug proofed it. If you wanna call it that. Boom. One scout down, one scout dead. One scout down, one scout dead. It's a lot of leveling up. Alrighty. Keep going this way. This has always been a weird Santa fuck. I mean, I don't even know what that is. Is that lava? And they took out the elevator sound too. Oh no. An elixir. Alrighty. Shelter in place. You know, I think we're ready too. Let's save real quick. Let us save. Further and further and further along. Now, for this particular fight though, I uh, had to prepare a little bit differently. Because we're going against the Golem Sisters, a lot of the times we're going to be using that stupid fire attack a lot too, so I'm going to definitely need a red vest and some ruby vest too, or ruby armor, whatever you can get a hold of though from the uh, uh, from the prehistoric era though, because if you can sit there and absorb uh, fire and resist it, you should be okay. So, you truly made it all this way. Perhaps I did underestimate you, <clears throat> but this is the end. My pets will put a stop to you. Come forth, Golem Sisters. And growing up, though, they were just called Golem Twins. I mean, I, I don't even think on the DS version they even had the name Golem Sisters. But, here they are. I still call them the Golem Twins, though, because that's what they are. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep hitting them with fire attacks. That way, they don't hit us with anything else. See, and mind you, they are unfairly fast. Too fast, to be exact, because they cannot, should not be able to move that fast, too. It's retarded, I know. This is the only problem that I have with the, golem, with the golems. Because they literally can hit you right afterwards. This is the only problem that I have with Corner or, or the Golden Twins. See, that's how quickly they can take you out. Now, these bitches will play unfairly. And I, too, mean they will play unfair. So you've just got to keep chaining your attacks over and over again. In a lot of ways, though, the uh, spells that you do, they uh, do kind of buy you some time in a, in a weird way. So, no matter what they do, you just got to keep healing. So we'll flare it. There you go. Oh yeah, my favorite fire attack. There we go. All right, here we go. Easiest pie. Even though it isn't a lot, you just gotta keep, you know, chaining your magic over and over and over again. Because with them, though, as long as you're using magic, a split second is also a perfect example. Oh my god. You saw. It's odd though, like once you hit them with magic, though, how it slows them down in a weird way. Moving there. Heal. I never take too many rests with these golem sisters. Alright, alright. What do you got? What do you got? <laughs> because that'll happen. Yep. That was weird. 2000. Ooh. There we go. 
with scissors too. I suppose I've got one one choice left. He was gonna call the Golem Boss, who you fight later on. I feel something strange. Could this be Lavas' energy? This won't do at all. All my hard work will be in vain if I die before attaining immortality. Well, you might as well you might as well gather the Dragon Balls, Dalton. Seems like this is your lucky day. Farewell. Okay. Alright. Let's re equip all the, cor all the correct things as well. Alrighty. Shelter in place. Alrighty. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. <gasps> this is the Mammoth Machine Altar. Now's the time to turn back. New. Oh, yeah. Your flirtations with lavas are at an end, Your Majesty. We made it just in time. It's a pity, but I'm afraid we have to shut down the machine for good. You're... you're... Uh-oh. Help! Shala. What are you doing, Shala? Control the machine! You, Kuroto, use the old man's knife. Stop that accursed thing. Quickly, there's no time. Take that dagger out. Huh, Masa. Here we go, Moon. Ready when you are, Masa. Would you look at that? Is that the Masa Moon? The, the man machine. It's too late. He comes. Oh, yeah. It's no use. That sword could alone cannot stop it. This is one fight that I'm afraid we cannot win either. So, I'm just gonna have to watch this happen. Construction rains from the heavens. Yep. That is one fight we just cannot win. Until New Game Plus, of course. How long I've waited for this. It's been quite some time, Lavos. I swore on that day ago that I'd destroy you, no matter what the price. It is time for you to fulfill that vow. Feel my wrath, Lavos. You truly think you possess the power. Let's look at that. Queen Zeal and Shala. What are you but a false prophet? You'll be no more than the graces for the great Lavos. Stop this madness. This power can only end in ruin. Step aside, Shala. The almighty force of love has broke the flows through us all. You are a part of it, and you cannot change that fate now. Oppose me and I will destroy you. The hunger for power. It's weird though that she has a weird uh, relationship with Lavos. Come, prophet of lies. Feel the power of Lavos. Magic, he's draining it. Ugh. I won't. That won't be beaten. I endure the darkness alone for the sole purpose of defeating you. Take this! Ugh. I'm afraid that doesn't work. No effect at all. Ugh. Fool. Your pitiful powers are no match for his. I shall give you a gift. Eternal life as a part of Lavos. <laughs> Uh-oh. We have a decision to make. You're right. At this rate, we're, we're all doomed. 
Magus, you cannot die at the hands. You could not die at the hands of some other foe. Your mind to defeat. Escape, Chrono. Your humans have the means to stop such power. Chrono, is it? Why not do Shala says and run away? Tail betwixt your legs. It is your life not precious. Is your life not precious to you? You're still not giving up. What do you do? What do you hope to do? You would challenge Lavos alone with that battered body of yours. Gaze upon the barrel of Lavos and your doom. It's so badass there. Mm-hmm. One among you will shortly perish. Wow, they even redid that too. And there's Shala there. <clears throat> They updated the frame rate on that too. Holy shit. God, Toei Animation Square. You need to make Chrono Trigger an anime. I haven't found him to defeat. I have the power to defeat him then. There was nothing I could do. <clears throat> we must think of our escape for now. This palace threatens to collapse. The last of my penance power will send you to safety. I know you will not be able to forgive her, but please do not hate my mother or our kingdom. I'm so sorry. Now, quickly to the surface. <clears throat> Yep. And Lavos hath arisen. Just taken down everything. And the Magic Kingdom of Zeal is the first target. Aside from Chrono. Such destruction too. And I think this happens all again in 1999. The Cataclysm, as they call it. <laughs> the new. <laughs> Look at all that. No longer a kingdom in the sky, just a kingdom down back on planet Earth. Earthbound ones await. Uh oh. A tidal wave! Jeez. Oh, how the mighty have fallen, right? Oh, the mighty have fallen. Hold it, Chrono. 
Chrono. Look at that. No! Chrono. 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 Ah, you've awoken. Ah, you've awoken. Hmm. You're most fist you're most fitful in your sleep. Chrono. What of Chrono? What of him? We found no other. First Cyrus and now Chrono. People you know that start with a C. Where are we? Is this the village of the earthbound ones? Well, this island is the only refuge left. After the Ocean Palace unleashed its ruin, no others remain. No tragedy. Melchior, where's Melchior? When the disaster struck, an era black portal materialized before young Prince Janus. Melchior tried to save the, bo the, boy, the boy prince, but succeeded only in getting himself dragged in as well. A black portal. A gate. And the girl Shala? I cannot say. No one's seen her since. The epic. What happened to it? Your ship is, sturdier, is a sturdier vessel than one might venture. She washed up safe and sound. Right in your wake. It was almost as if it was though she were drawn to you. Ah, yes. I believe this is yours, too. The pendant colonel carried. It was sitting beside you, almost as if you were watching over you, guarding you. Hmm, Chrono. Take all the time you need to rest. I'll be in the village commons, just beyond. Well. Well, looks like we got another party to work with. Yep. Lavos does beckon. And he took the Kingdom of Zeal and Chrono with him. The surviving village. Bye. Hit potions. High potions. Shelters. Yeah, just a few of these. A couple of these. I'm again. Check back from time to time. He sells whatever washes up here. So if you wait while well, he'll... Most likely to have some new things for sale. Actually, if I wait for a second, though, he'll actually move out of the way. Because there's a tab behind him. Hang on. Let's see if I can actually get it real quick. I think I actually have everybody out of the way. There he goes. Nope. Yeah, every now, every now and then he does come back with new stuff, too, so... Comes in to come back into the, to the Earthbound ones, too. A few of the Enlightened ones did survive, but no distinctions remain between the Enlightened and the Earthbound now. Of course they don't. The Sun Temple of Zeal enshrined to stone. Such, such stones are made by bathing darkened moonstones in the sun's rays. Harvesting enough power to create the sunstone of any re requires ages, though, so I've heard. Yep. Go back to the village commons real quick. It's really interesting how everything happens. How can I survive in such a land without my magic? You need no magic to survive. Besides, you're not here alone. I suppose you're right. We are alive after all. And so long we are, we must hold on to hope. The sun ever rises the sun ever rises on the morrow. There's little we can do but live for today and trust the other days that will follow. We'd grow too dependent on our fearsome force. Indeed you do. Kind of like the same with technology. Everyone and everything was swallowed by the sea. The sea of the clouds is part of the blizzard at last abated. Could this be the long and terrible winter be at the end? Maybe. Aww. Must have cried himself to sleep. Let him be. Feeling better, are we? Bowl trolls and pay homage to the new liege King Dalton. Would you look at that? Hey, don't hit the old man. 
I gotta wake the kid up, you know, after just beating the shit out of him like that. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, whatever the looks of disappointments, <laughs> you should be thankful you survived. The crazy old crone is gone, and that insufferable prophet with her, henceforth, Zeal should be known as the Kingdom of Dalton. Ugh, cringeworthy. Phew. You survived? Now that shit outside must be yours. Then mustn't it? It matches Belthazar's designs perfectly. You're undeserving of such a splendid toy. I shall take it as my personal chariot. <laughs> Surely you yape. You will not have come. You will not have to come with me. It should not you have you whispering strange secrets in the ears of the mob. You might start a rebellion. I'm not gonna lie. I do not like that translation right there. But first, take this. What? <clears throat> All right. Hey, what's that behind you? Ah, uh, fell for the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> Little taste of my true power. Yeah, of wit. <sighs> and we are held captive. Where is this? Our equipment's gone. <gasps> All of our other things, too. Confound it, our money. <laughs> Confound it, our money, too. What to do? The new king. Indeed, the newest king of all. <gasps> Clouds, it must be on. Yes, you were on the Blackbird. You were on the Blackbird. Now we got to do a little bit of espionage, too. Hmm. There's an air duct. Check up here. We can spy down through the gate through the gates there. Let's see. Alright. Now, we gotta do the best we can to try to uh, make our way out and try to get our equipment back, but we gotta do this a smart way. Ah, uh, somebody's on. <laughs> Guard on. I would say he's on watch, but he's on rest. <gasps> oh, damn it. Damn it. You yeah, haven't done this in so long, so you have to forgive me. Alright, let's try that again real quick. Watch, he'll probably go back to sleep. Matter of fact, he has to because. Hang on, hang on, where you at? Oh, wait, wrong place. Hang on. Yeah, right back to sleep he wins. <laughs> Got Glenn's equipment. Alright, stand back while I whip your ass. Yep. So as long as you have you don't have equipment, you can't fight. So yeah, this will be easy. Now to go around and try to get everybody's equipment back. That also includes the money too. It is a little bit of a hassle since you have to fight alone. Take this little bite out real quick. Thankfully, these guys are not difficult. Alright. Anyway, oh shit. You know, and this is where we were at. What are you doing here? You know what sucks though is like these girls know how to use magic too, and that would help. But but here's a, here's a funny thing too: if you find all your items, you can actually equip everybody too. So you don't necessarily have to have everybody's equipment, but if you pick up all your items, they are your equipment. It does you know feature to have your equipment too. So let's go through here. <laughs> I like how they're just dancing, just just watch it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One, two, one. Two, one, here we go. Alrighty, what do you got? Hey, what do you got, punk? Hey, what do you got? You son of a bitch. Uh, 
Alrighty. Ooh, a lot of EXP there. Ooh. Recover the money. Show me the money, baby. Ooh, what are you doing here? Actually, come to think of it, if you've got a uh, Robo with you, T260G, uh, your, ro your robotic companion, if you will, I think you can fight without equipment. I believe you can. This whole place wet with perspiration and you know summoning water. There we go. Recovered Nadia's equipment. Okay, Nadia. Okay, you got everything you need. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Come on, really? If you ask me, though, it's time to confront the king. Let's keep going. Oh! There's six of them! Okay. Let's have a little fun, then, shall we? It is cold outside, so you might as well just make him a, a glacier freeze. Oh, yeah. experience points too. Hmm. Let's see. Nope. They're done. What else can we find? <gasps> you worthless cretins. Take a look at that. Oh no, he's messing around with the epic. Pay close attention to what you're doing. This is to be my royal air th throne. <sighs> the world will bow before me. <laughs> yeah, that was cringeworthy. Okay. Hold on. I feel like I need some Metal Gear music to go with this. Like the first floor, like uh, with the uh, nuclear weapons. Okay, this is where I came from. Oh! Close. Okay. This has also got to be uh, Luca's equipment. This has to be Luca's equipment. There we go. Alrighty, now we're fully fledged. Let's see, we got our money, we got our equipment, but we don't have any items. Oh. Well, I might as well. Might as well make it a mincemeat out of them. And I gotta tell you, man, Dalton's guards are just weak compared to Queen Zeal's guards. Those monks and those Nashers, nowhere near. And he's. And he pulled three. Okay, I got two more. Don't mind me, because passing through. Nice water it is. Two and three. Easy pickings. And I believe these are all of our items. Yes, got our inventory. All right, we are fully loaded. All right. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Ah, oh, damn it. Make sure I'm not missing anything else. Because I think there is like a couple of treasure, uh, treasure chests you can get here. Unless they be the other equipment though, and that's about it. Unless there could be anything else. 
Alrighty. No. Uh, yep. I oh, damn it. Hang on. I think I can squeeze through here. Nope. Guess not. I guess not. <laughs> oh, I've never seen that happen. Being glitched out of a fight? I have never ever seen that happen. Alrighty. That was pretty cool. Didn't think that was ever possible. Ooh, even better. Something I haven't done in a while. Here, let me sort this list up real quick. Since we're in the uh, former Kingdom of Magic... Ah, uh, here we go. These are just like the rubbles. Omnilock. They use Omnilock. You just gotta try to hit them as quick as you can, as fast as you can, if you can hit them. Because there's a lot you can gain from them. A lot of experience points. Hopefully, you know, in some, in some, uh, in some ways, maybe even level up. Come on, come on, come on. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. And he self-destructs. I got nothing out of that. That's something I hate, man. They, they, they all they do is uh, omni lock you. Come on. Come on, Glenn. You're close. You're close. You're close. Good. 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 And you only get two rounds to do it too. Okay. Hang on. Where's that rage ban? 50% counterattack rate. I'm probably gonna want that. Against these little shits. Come on, because 50% 50 is better than 0%. Come on, all you gotta do is let him hit me and then he can counter a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Ah, oh, stop missing, you dumb bitches! Ugh. Oh. You know, I asked for one thing and you can't even hit. Jesus Christ, you're fucking pathetic. Guardian thing. I like how you can only do it to one of them. You can only fight one of them. At a time. Ah, mm -mm. Jesus this is so dumb. Come the fuck on. You're right there. Don't miss. Stupid idiot. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Darwin Award goes to Glenn, Luca, and Nadia. God man, nobody gets hit. They can hit us, but they can hit us, but we can't hit them. Go fuck yourself. I don't believe in that. You should always be able to be hit. Finally! And you still couldn't kill him. Pathetic. Not my fault that you're weak. You see, there's a reason why you can't hit magic because they got nice spoils too. You get a lot from them. And it self-destructs. That was a waste of time. So yeah, in your just remember in your first playthrough, don't ever go for the turrets because you'll never get anything out of it. Something comes. Something comes. 
What's going on? Alrighty. This is the golem boss. Now, what's really funny about this golem boss, much like the turrets, it has great spoils, but just know that it doesn't hit back. So, hit him. Hit him hard, hit him fast. Because at least you can hit him. Boom, boom. <laughs> Five, four. One thing I like about this boss though is like, it's such a chicken shit uh, for heights. It's got height three, two. Okay, let's see. Flare. Woo! Boom, 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 boom! Alrighty. <laughs> you know what's really funny? You'd think something big's gonna happen. But this is an easy pushover fight. Uh. I don't remember exactly how many H uh, HP uh, the little boss has, though, but I do know... From what I understand, though, this boss was actually supposed to be a real boss, but it ended up being a joke. I don't remember the whole story behind it. Racial freeze. Boom, boom, boom. So yeah, just hit it hard and hit it fast. There we go. Two. What the hell? Now I'm scared. <laughs> now I'm scared. <laughs> I hate heights. <laughs> it only has about 15,000 HP. Oh no, it's getting ready to run away. Come on, Luca. I hate heights! <laughs> uh, wah. Oh, fuck! Oh, come on. I had him beat! I have never not lost to the golden boss, man. I'm actually correction. I've never not got the golden boss to run away from me, man. God, this playthrough is def. They definitely have tweaked some things on, on Chrono Trigger. The Arrow Dalton Imperial. Those meddlesome interlopers will sh shall be her first victims. Errol Dalton Imperial, prepare for takeoff. No, 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 no. Got the music! <laughs> yes, here we go. And by the way, you were supposed to get 50 tech points. And uh, 2,500 uh, experience points from the uh, Golem boss. Alrighty. The Epic! Yep, it can fly now. The Epic now has wings. Her name's not the Epic, it's the Errol Dalton Imperial. And you, I'm afraid, are excess baggage. Time to make like the wind and blow you away. Ugh. It's all your fault. Give Chrono back. Oh yeah, here we go. And this is an easy fight too. You you Yeah. Take this. Yeah, this boss. Yeah, Dalton is a pushover completely on this fight. Strikes with opposing magic. Only this time he uses fire too instead of the that weird, the weird fire attack that uh, all the other golems use, like the scouts use. What do you got? Strikes with opposing magic. 
See, I wish Dalton fought, fought like this in the begin uh, for the very first time. I will say, uh, and look, yeah, and he still does it too. Only uh, this time, Dalton is noticeably weaker, even though he's called Dalton Plus. Go, Golem Overlord! Huh? Huh? Uh oh. <laughs> Two level ups. No, three level ups actually. <sighs> Is the epic alright? I'm that filthy thief. More importantly, how do we control this thing? What about that lever? Try hitting X. Funny. You can only use that once, and that's just a scripted event. Then A, try A. Now, oh, would you look at that? I made it crash? Interesting. Hooray! Justice! Don't has been paid his due! Oh, mercy. That ship can fly! Yes, it can. Whew. They got the handle of it. Incredible. Hmm. Very incredible. Mayhap we owe a touch of gratitude for this. I've just been thinking about upgrading myself. Oh, well. Chrono. Nadia. That poor fool. Now we gotta go search for Chrono. It's gotta be somewhere. Let's go check back to the surviving village, shall we? Let's see if he has anything new. Ooh, look at that. <clears throat> the onion suit. There we go. A few of those. A couple of mid-eight, those won't, won't hurt. Come again. Yeah. Shelter it up real quick. Surviving village. Let's go back to the village common area, shall we? The Guru Alive gave me the sapling, but I fear that there's no place for it in this desolate world. You know what? Plant it for hope. Alright, I'll find a place to let it grow. Who knows, maybe someday it'll be the key of reviving this dead world of ours. You'd be surprised. Oh, look at little Alphador! Young, Je young Janice's cat. It's quite con yeah, the despair is quite contagious, I fear. Indeed it is. I glimpsed the figure of a man on the North Cape. I hope he's up to no ill. Hmm, stranger in a cape, huh? Slowly coming along as well. They said we need time to accept their fate. We will not. We will have to start again from scratch. And that is not something people won't. Sure, won't concede. Aww. Hooray, hooray! Well, let's go to the North Cape, shall we? Because. Someone is waiting for us. I wouldn't say waiting, but... <sighs> Would you look at that? <clears throat> so it is you. Ugh, Magus! Behold, all of it rests at the bottom of the sea. Gone is the magic kingdom of zeal and all the dreams and ambitions of its people. I lived there once, but I was a different person then. What's this? A dimensional vortex? And there's the three gurus. Notice that Melkir is one of them too, and so is Gaspar. We were right then. This power is beyond human control. Oh no, we'll be dragged into the rift. 
Shala! Yes, young Janice is Magus. But, but... It's, it's, it's a... A time gate? Ugh. No! Janice! I love how Queen Zill is doing nothing about this. Melkira ends up back in the age of uh, year 1000. Belthazar in the future. And what'd you know, what'd you know? Gaspar. What? What is this place? Hello? There's no one here. Is this the end of time? And the young boy we know as Janice will be taken under the wing of Ozzy. You. You were that boy? I lived only for one thought of slaying Lavos. But ever since the rips, the rift in time's fabric stranded in me in the Middle Ages, and just as I had summoned him to my castle, you arrived to interfere. Yet to think, I would be drawn through, such, through yet another portal only to find myself returned to the sage. Ironic, isn't it? Being from the future, my knowledge of that past enabled me to convince the queen that I was an oracle of no small power. And so I then, so again, I worked to draw the beast out. But no history book could have prepared me for what ensued. Unimaginable is the power of Lavos. And before him, all we cast, all these casts of the bitter winds, the howl the black death's black wings. Stay this course, and your fate will be the same as that fool Kronos. You dare dishonor him? Do you dare dishonor him? Hmm. Play with fire and you get burned. A lesson better, a lesson better learned sooner than later. The weak go quickly to their graves. Magus, stay your tongue! Do you wish to fight me? Taking, the, taking your life will not restore Chrono or Cyrus or theirs. Hmm. Wait! I'll accompany you. Are you mad? I said the fool was dead. I did not say his death could not be undone. Of what do you speak? Gaspar the Guru of Time knows the way to restore those dreams of time that have been diverted from proper courses. Would you look at that? We got one of my favorite characters in this game, too. Magus. So, now that we got Magus, the next thing to do is to go after, well, go to the end of the time and talk to Gaspar. Because when we continue, don't know when the next episode is going to be, but hopefully it'll be soon. But in the next episode, we look for a way to revive Kronos. Much love, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!